Oh my god, there he is. What? I gotta get it out. Go, oh, let's go. <laughs> Titan is right there outside the door. He just pulled up, so I gotta hide this. In my toolbox it goes. So last year for Titan's birthday, we decided to come together as a group and try to get him something nice and thoughtful. So we ran to the store and we bought him a nice turtle. Unfortunately, due to mysterious circumstances, the very next day, the turtle vanished. You guys get me the turtle for the pond, put it in the pond. It was so beautiful. And then all of a sudden the turtle was gone. It traumatized my kid for the next <laughs> month. They kept going into the pond with their little mass historicals. <laughs> they keep looking for this turtle that's not bad. There. There's no shell, no nothing, but there's some big old hawks and eagles that I didn't have the heart to tell my kids that uh, the turtle's probably dead now. You know what I mean? So this year, we decided to make him something a whole lot more permanent. So you may have seen these new copper colored tools in a video I did recently on my pump housing over on the CP6000. I love gold. So this is a one inch Harvey 3 Endo with their new coating. I'm dying to give this thing a try and it looks like somebody's already used this tool, but I'm sure it's got enough life left in it. I love these Hydroforce collets that have these safe lock sleeves in them. If you're trying not to pull a tool out of a holder, this is the way to go. So now I've got a monster tool in a monster tool holder. We are ready to murder metal. All right. Now, because this is for Titan's birthday, we have to make sure we take some pretty aggressive cuts here. Otherwise, I know he's not going to be happy. All right, so check it out. So here we are in SolidWorks. We have the model of our turtle. We have our stock modeled in, and we have our second op fixture. Now, we're going to make this out of 316L stainless so that if Titan decides to put it outside in his pond, it's not going to rust on him. Now, if we head over to Mastercam, we have our turtle in here already. We've got our stock all defined, all of our tool paths are ready. So for our first operation, we're gonna approach the turtle from the bottom side. So we're gonna make some big monster chips. We're gonna just peel metal off of this sucker. using our shunk low profile KSC vise. Now I know with these serrated jaws, there's absolutely no way we're gonna rip our stock out of the vise. Now the reason I wanted to approach the turtle from the bottom side is because the turtle's four feet give us an excellent place for us to put four threaded holes so that we can bolt it to our second op fixture. Turtle power. Right. Oh, yes. All right. So we got the first stop of our turtle done. Now we started it on the bottom so that we can put these four holes in so that we can bolt a fixture plate to it for our second op in the five axis mill. Before we take this over to the five axis though, we're gonna give it to Trevor so that he can laser mark Titan's birthday on the bottom of the turtle. And the reason that we're gonna do that first is because once we do the second operation, our turtle shell is gonna be round. And that's gonna make it difficult for Trevor to locate this thing in our Trump true mark. By giving it to him in this state, he'll have a nice flat surface that he could sit on and it'll be easy for him to mark. So let's get this thing over to Trevor. Turtle. You know, Barry, Good. there's chips down in these holes, man. Yeah, that comes free of charge. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, they don't pay me to clean stuff here, okay? <laughs> the good news is, is like, if you totally screw up the laser marking like I expect you to, I'll just face just a few thou off the yeah. top and bring it back. Just try to get it right. That's the mark of a good machinist. It's not about never making mistakes, it's about not having to cover them up. That's right, and how to properly hide them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Yep, yeah, thank you. One eternity later. So right now it's 7 a.m. and we've been hiding this turtle all over the shop trying to keep Titan from seeing it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Nothing to see here. But now we're ready for the laser marking, so let's make it happen. It looks really nice. All right, so the laser marking turned out great. Now all we gotta do is hand our turtle off to Jesse and he's gonna take care of all the finishing operations. All right, Jesse, here's the turtle. That's a turtle? It's gonna be when you're done with it. Well, now, the important thing is, it's through the berry portion of the project, so we should be good. Well, all he's done is the roughing, so yeah. That's all he can do. If we give him the finishing, then it'll look like the roughing. Yeah, it won't be a turtle, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah, he had some chatter marks on there, so I made sure to place the eagle right where the chatter is so that it will mark over it. Then it'd be a solid eagle through the whole thing. Cover Barry's chatter. <laughs> the whole bottom of it would be black. Well, Barry does love that chatter pattern. It's a Barry special. Well, Ch one thing's for certain is if we limit Barry to the roughing and you shining a light on it, we ought to be pretty good. Yeah, it's hard to hard to mess it up when this you just is, have a laser light. This is AK-50 all over again. I I'm know. starting to see a pattern. <laughs> one turtle coming up. I actually got it simulating. Am I not turtle enough for the turtle club? I love that movie. <laughs> All right, so we're about to put our turtle in the five axis and we're gonna hold this with a simple fixture that's just a plate with some holes through it because Barry put us some threaded holes straight into the turtle itself. That way we can access the whole turtle from one side. So we're just gonna set this on here, bolt it, and then we can hold the fixture right in the vise. It's time to get our turtle on. Well, it's a good thing this ain't a soft shell turtle because Titan would never get it. I'd have it for supper. Now this turtle might be for Titan, but we all know who the real turtle is, don't we, Chris? Now I wanted to make Titan like a cool loggerhead, snapping turtle, something looking like a beast. And then Barry comes up with this cute little thing. It is fitting for Barry to pick a turtle to machine since most of his feeds and speeds are turtle speeds. Barry does look like a lot like a turtle without a shell, don't he? His shell's in the front. He got a big front shell. <laughs> now, I'm more like Master Splinter because I'm gonna make this turtle into a work of art. But Barry is more like Shredder. All he tried to do was destroy it. That's why we're limiting him to only the roughing operation. Since we're only holding this material with these four small bolts, we need to reduce the feed speeds and step over for our roughing tool. Now Barry was kind enough to put us a couple witness lines on the stock so we have something to indicate and probe to set our work offset. But once we start roughing, those features are going to be machined away so the last thing we want is for this material to move during the roughing process. Because if it does, we won't have anything to line back up on. So to be safe, we're going to slow things down to ensure that doesn't happen. Now we don't have a lot of time to spend on this project, so for the feet and everything under the shell, I chose to use a simple equal scallop 3D toolpath because not only is it really great for surface finishing, it handles mesh models like the one I'm using very well. Oh my God, there he is. What? I gotta get it out. All right, let's go, let's go. Ooh, look at my pretty turtle. This thing looks like it's in 4K. Barry would have done this, it would have looked like something in Minecraft. And Titan is right there outside the door. He just pulled up, so I gotta hide this. In my toolbox it goes. Bye bye, little turtle. Checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, you no know, flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me. My success is only made. Barry and Trevor knew they were gonna need to do it right, so this year they got me involved. <laughs> From all of us to you, happy birthday! Yes, senior <laughs> discount. <laughs> Maybe next year we should machine him a walker. <laughs>
I had no idea. I literally, right there, learned that it was a B. I didn't even know that thing was on. This turtle all over the shop trying to keep Titan from seeing it. We need to get his do this. Present of all time, like that is crazy. Getting good my flow, been like butter, my check in the bank. They see the number, all of my haters feel one of two ways. Really upset that they show some respect. I can't even think about it. I've been up, so read about it. No beat around it, straight to it, no ring around it. You coming for me, we'll see about it. We we'll never see you when I get my feet up. A hundred meters where I run the fee up. And go catching and I'm on a peer. I had to re up on a real, so you stay the feeder and put it back into the bit because I don't really need it. Uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got